This is going to be a film on a Sound 7500 8mm uh, projector. I do have the original box with some extras in it. So like this looks like it's a microphone you can plug in. This is probably for cleaning. Um, and I'm not sure what this is. And here's the original box. Um, you know, the cover isn't really all the way there but I will get good pictures of all of this as well. Um, pretty new to the, this projector here, so I don't know a whole lot about them, but two things that I discovered in my um, testing process is there's little teeth kind of on the right-hand side or the left-hand side. You wanna make sure that you have them on the right side because that's where, um, that's what will kind of grab the, the film here. Um, I had it the wrong way to begin with and it wasn't grabbing it and it wasn't loading it so because it was the wrong way um, So I had to take this side cover off to kind of see and this is pretty easy to pop off and then also another thing that I noticed is You want to have this film here Kind of bowing or curved up like this because when it feeds through this if you have it the other direction um, And it kind of curving down it will get jammed up in there, you know, because it's designed that way. You know, you want to be able to make it flow all the way through. And this cover just pops off like that. It's pretty easy. So looking through the mechanism and stuff like that, you can see right here, you know, if you have it where it's bending, flowing this way, the shape kind of curved down this way. When it hits here, it wants to then just kind of come down and it will get jammed up in there. So just make sure that you have this on the right hand side and it kind of bowing up like this so that it naturally feeds through this. Um, I'll go ahead and put this on. Um, I will just be sending the projector. This is a personal film, so I will not be sending this film. Um, so it's off right now. And then you got thread, you got forward, off, and rewind, and reverse, which do that and reverse so turn that off so again I'm gonna go ahead and put this on here um, again we have this kind of curved up we'll find the feed area here which is right here and we will do thread there it goes so now it's threading it through and we'll see if it grabs it on its own over here. And it and it looks like it did, so it found it itself. Um, and then there's a couple of buttons. Oh, let me maybe turn on the light here. So that's the projector here. You got buttons over here. You got M and A. Not sure what that's for. We got volume. This is the volume button. You got tone, so like that's high pitch. This is low, you hear it going. And apparently there's sound on sound. Sound on sound, I'm not sure what, sound on sound, I'm not sure what that's about, but there is that. Um, there is a record button. Can't really test that because I don't have a recorder. And then, let me turn this down. Uh, you got 24 or 18. This is going too fast, so this must have been recorded at uh, 18. And I thought there was a focus. Oh, here's focus. As you can see, it's in and out of focus here. That's pretty much it. Um, I'll go ahead and maybe turn on some lights here again. Uh, just to show you that uh, reverse works. So we got off, we got rewind. It's rewinding the film right now. Or if we wanted to go in reverse, this is backing up the film here. Um, I will be honest, there is a smell coming from this, but I only assume that that is the lamp, um, the bulb. 
and it's been off for many years and it's probably dust kind of like the first time you turn on a furnace or a heater all, all of that dust kind of like I don't know burns off and it kind of gives you that smell that's what I'm smelling um, so I assume that that's what that is but I'll go ahead and just maybe hit rewind here and speed this up oh I guess it goes in the same speed never mind yeah, that's pretty much everything. I'll go ahead and get it cleaned up. I'll get really good pictures of everything um, enlisted.